Hello my dudes. <laughs> it's been a while since I've recorded a video as you can tell why the beard's growing back. The moustache is still there and my receding hairline at the back. I'm currently in the staff room at work and I don't know what you're thinking. You're thinking, did he buy a not unexpensive small just for work? And the answer is, yes, yes I did, because I'm always here, and it's three o'clock in the morning. So I thought I would do a ramble video. Now this is the first in what I'm hoping becomes a series, but we all know what I'm like. Where <clears throat> I talk about mental health and stuff like that, sober, and this isn't something I've done. This isn't something I've done before. Well, I think I have. But most of the time when I do my mental health updates, I'm smashed. Most of the time when I do any kind of whispers, I'm smashed. So I want to talk today, it won't be a long one, about sobriety. Sobriety. Is that how you pronounce it? Sobriety. Uh, I have now been sober for two in the morning, three in the morning, well, today would be 14 days. The last time I had a beer was on that live stream I did for the charity, which we raised 105 quid, so that's pretty good. Uh, the traffic's quite busy for three o'clock in the morning. Does this count as a trigger? Uh, you can tell these are the... <laughs> <laughs> someone's over. Uh, so I wanted to talk about what it's been like, um, why I've done it. Um, I'm really sure it's not a better place to do it than it. Um, and what the plan is. So I planned to go sober in September. And I've been meaning to go sober for a while. My drinking got to the extent of, I was justifying it, like, I'd say I wouldn't do it on school days, but then when I was working like 7 till 7 during the day, I wouldn't have any beer at night, because I'd work at 7 the next day, but when I did 7 till 7 at night, I'd go at half 7, buy some beer, <laughs> drink to about midday, <laughs> and go to work at 7, because it was your crew dinner, and uh, justifying that to myself, being drunk at half eleven in the morning made me kind of go. Hmm. So I did that live stream. I was intending that to be because there's no way I was doing that sober. Um, I was intending that to be the last time I drink for a while, and um, it's been pretty easy if I'm being honest. Um, I know that sounds really weird uh, because I've wanted to stop so much, just didn't. But I just seem to. My head has just gone, right, he's stopping drinking for now. And I'm going to go for a while. I, I'm not going to, it's not going to be a permanent thing. Maybe, I don't know. But at the moment, I want to talk about what kind of happens and stuff. I have gotten, which surprises me, because I thought I would, no physical um, withdrawal, or so, withdrawal symptoms from drinking. Uh, not drinking. Um, to the point where, you know, I didn't get the shakes, I didn't get, um, you know, like sleep wasn't affected. I don't think it was, I don't sleep very well anyway, but I say that. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. But I will say one thing I'm dealing with, which is surprised me, is um, emotions. Like, my emotions are just rocketed. My emotions are just like, ugh. I know with my borderline personality anyway, they're heightened, but I just, I'm so angry. And it's really weird because, you know, I was looking up at it and uh, I've looked at it and anger is often associated with drinking, but I was never angry when drunk, but like, I'm just so angry and not at, oh, woe is me, the world's unfair to me, 
stuff like that. I am angry at the world, but not in the, oh, you know, life's unfair, you know, with your money and stuff like that. I'm on top of stuff like this. But it's just the world is making me so angry. Like, I'm getting pissed off with people and their opinions. And, like, so, you know, the Queen's dead, okay? But, okay, I'm an anti-royalist. <laughs> you know, but, you know, someone's just been arrested for free speech. You know, they called Prince Andrew a nonce because he is. But, you know, the timing, you know, is questionable. At the, you know, when the funeral, the uh, Queen's body's been moved up to Edinburgh. All right. Okay. It's But he got arrested for it and charged. It's not free speech. And that's... Oh. My angry... Oh. Screenshot. Hang on. Ready? So I'll have that there. the thumbnail I'm just so angry and uh, everything like you know the kind of the, the cost of living crisis like and just people accepting it but uh, yeah it just things are just maybe it'll calm down after a while maybe I've been you know using the booze to stop the emotions to ignore the emotions because if I was hung over I didn't think about them when I was drunk I didn't think about them um, but it's just, yeah, I just want to try and, I don't know, it's really weird to say this, but I want to kind of help the world and stuff, I don't know how, uh, and I've just, it's, I'm an arsehole, it's making me an arsehole on Facebook, <laughs> you know, not to the point, you know, like it's all about, I've gone, I'm just arguing with everyone. Everyone on Facebook. I've I've lost at least ten. Well, I've been unfriended by at least ten people. Who they are? Apparently, they weren't important enough for me to notice who they were. I've just seen the numbers go down. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Two weeks sober. Angry. <laughs> um, I really thought I had more to talk about this one. Maybe that's why I made these when drunk because I could just ramble and ramble. Um, yeah. Okay. I feel like I should make this longer, but there's going to be a lot of these videos. I'm quite active with YouTube again. I'm quite happy making videos. So my channel turns nine next week. So nine. So enough for Prince Andrew.